Alright, sorry about that. Just dumb, well, not dumb things, just things that I that aren't really that important right now. Alright, let's keep on pushing. Just like that, we found an elevator and won our first keystone. Or er, elector and won um, <laughs> our first keystone. The new one is like the chest of things. Come on, let's keep things moving and march onwards towards uh, to Kuzama Uka. I'm good to go find an elector, that is well. What are we doing, anything, however? We should see what your patient finally really has to say. Here, dining on the third promises coin. It seems you're ready to ask your questions now. So, what is it you'd like to know? The leap of Ot Okanu. We go outside to the arch of the lawn and follow the road which runs alongside the Zama Uko River. Is that right? It is. You won't, however, my brother, and tell me the recent storm has rendered the path even muddier than usual. The footing is quite poor, quite poor in some parts. As far as far worse than the destruction visited upon our homes, though. Or was the destruction visited upon our homes, though? Houses were torn apart, several people injured, if not killed. Even our beloved festival is in danger of being called off this year. You do still plan on going, but a surgeon proceed with caution. You should be watching the footing. Thank you. Now I'm worried for the Han. Sounds like they were hit hard by that storm. Anyway, we're bound for Kugama Uka, we should head over to the arch. Alright, so we go here, and then I guess it's gonna give us another cutscene whenever we get to the new zone. Be a good point for me to do. eat some of my cereal and drink some of my food. This bag of people. Alright, let's see what's up. Onward to Kazama Uka. Open the way. Mauka, the land of rainbow terraces. It commands the gaze of all who visit without fail the many colored marvel. An endless torrent of water cascades over sheer cliffs to shape the wetlands below. To its relentless flow, all life must yield. Together with Wuklamat, we proceeded along the marshy trail, a road upon which the Dawn Servant and his comrades once traveled. of that water. The Isle of Han was impressive, but as you can see, Tulihyola does not want for natural wonders. The ground is swampy, so watch your step. 
you wouldn't want to fall into a bog. I won't. I told you I've been here before. Come on. Okano isn't much farther. I was eating during that, and then I noticed that the auto advance thing wasn't on. No stopping a third promise, is that? Barnes Gumby is certainly there for her. Everyone should be so lucky to have such a uh, such a loyal childhood friend. Alright, let's get moving. Right, let's get moving. If we continue along this road, we should find ourselves in the village before long. Sorry. Or or voiceover work right there, like juggling eating and some other stuff, drinking and trying to relax my vocal cords. Discover a new location, huh? Nice. Be voice acted. Oh, everyone has a leg. And none the worse for wear. Except for a certain third promise who slipped in the mud despite my explicit warnings. Hey, I asked you not to say anything. Anyway, this is the Hanu Hanu village I was telling you about. Oh, Hanu. I think about wishes to see out the Dawn Servant Elector. Food. Like a friend's oh god. I can only assume they are still recovering from the damage wrought by the storm by the storm. And, indeed. Well it's indeed. Well, let's do what we came to do and find this elector. Doing the dance. Hokali. Oh, what the, what the now? It's a honey burrito. Tell me how the last time you were here. Well, I was busy enjoying the festival. Greetings to the third promise in her entourage. I, Zayu Hali, welcome you to Okanu. As elder of my people, I shall also be fulfilling the duties of elector during the rite of succession. I'm ready. Give me the teeth and test my worth. All in good time. All in good time. In fact, I came to let you know we are quite uh, not quite ready to begin. For the moment, please enjoy the hospitality of our village. to do some investigating and watching pillow, so let's take a look around here as well. What is suggested the version of forces? When there will be and crowd could concentrate on the southern half of the settlement. Meanwhile, look the my echo and myself will head in this northern half. Sounds good to me. Said that the damage from the storm has been repaired, and our stores are open for business. If you have any bicolored gemstones repaired at home, fuck, we don't need to. We're getting not to fucking voice the side content. Habit. Hmm. <clears throat> heard about the storm? I've never seen the likes of it before. The supplies and help the Don's are making progress repairing and rebuilding our homes. 
But while roofs and walls can be patched, there's so much else that was lost for good. Hmm. Yes, out here. Okay. He's noticing depths. Voice acted, please. Gaping hole in the wall and missing portion of the roof are clearly the work of the storm's powerful winds. The pairs appear to be ongoing. Not the houses are still damaged, but the honey I've spoken to are not their usual cheery selves. The stone broke more than the woods and the wooden reeds. Must be something I can do to help them. I'm going to look around a bit more. Demi Phoenix for some reason. Try and shrunken bundles success the weeds were harvested some time ago. Oh, that camera angle though. I thought this was, I don't know why. I guess I should have actually clicked on the map. There we go. We'll get it all eventually, but... Also, I should probably get tuned to this ether, right? I just noticed the thing. I don't know. I didn't think I was clicking on that, but sure. i will click on the ether right before we continue with any more of this, just so I can actually get back here easily. Yes, I understand. for days, boys. Alright. Woven from reeds is built like vessels are meant to be prepared. The beak and feathered tail in particular stand out. This boat must be woven from the same reeds I've seen gathered into the bundles here and there. Let's hold both practical and cultural significance to the Hanu, then. Hello? Can you, can you all hear me? I'm told they're ready to receive us now. There's a large building in the south of the south of the village. Ah. <laughs> On my way. Lots of honey over, too. work please no sign of Zorolja or that oversized lout how much easier it would be if Zorolja were to fail here but that isn't likely to happen honored guests I am Zanu Hali elder of the Hanu I am also an elector, charged with judging which among you is worthy of ascending the throne. Without further ado, let us talk of the feat. Not so fast. Surely you couldn't begin without us. Uh. 
Eh, you made it after all. No need to fuss. There is no time limit for this challenge. Now, if you would allow me to proceed. It is here, in Okanu, where my people forged a bond with the Dawn Servant during our own chapter of the Tuli Yolal Saga. In homage to those events, I have prepared for you the Feet of Reeds. Reeds seem to be of great importance to the Hanu. I wonder what this feat entails. We use reeds in every part of our lives, be it as food or weaving material. But look around the nearby paddies, and you will see that this season, our crops are failing. How fortunate, then, that my appointment to Elector coincided with this predicament. For surely, those who aspire to be Dawn Servant would find the matter of an ailing harvest a mere trifle to resolve. Aye, well, it is indeed the duty of a ruler to address the people's woes. <laughs> exactly, exactly! Do well in this, and you will earn my keystone. Why bother mucking about in the mud, when we can take the stone by force? Oh, mercy me! You are a hot-headed fellow, Bakul Jaja. Some electors may enjoy going toe-to-toe -to -toe with scrappers like you, but I refuse to entertain your base instincts. Arrangements have been made. Should you attempt to engage a feat giver in combat without their consent, word of your immediate disqualification will be sent to the palace. If you're still feeling feisty, then by all means, draw your weapon. <laughs> this contest is presided over by cowards. There's no sport in fighting you. Then we can return to the business of earning my keystone. The feat of reeds is begun. Claimants, I wish you the best of luck. The clever kitty crossed the seas to study foreign novelties. He might know tricks we don't. Tricks we can use. What of Little Miss Mittens? <laughs> you know the answer to that. Compared to the first and second promise, she's a distant third. Not even in the running. Then we see eye to eye on this brother. Being Bakul Jaja so long with me has rubbed off on you. <laughs> These allies of hers, though, they might be a problem. around to find out. Damn it. I'm just as qualified to be here as they are. I'll show them. Easy now. There's no time limit, remember? Let's keep calm and think things through. Right. You're right. I won't win against that lumbering vidrol by losing my head. I can 
texting somebody about some stuff. Festive people. Yeah, we're all getting almost not one million experience for each of these hand ends. Uh, Alright, let's head ahead and turn that in. Pick this up. Come on, Azir, help uh, solve the Haunted Hunter's bows. I don't know the first thing about the farm yet, but if there's a way to, way to save the harvest and help the Hanu, then we're going to find it. I'll make my job, but cha cha eat his words. Understanding the nature of the problem would be key to solving it. We will examine the reeds themselves and then deduce the cause of their poor condition. Aaronville, will you take us to the river fields where the reeds are grown? Oh, of course, follow me. Side quest too while we're at it. Where is the side quest at? What? Oh wait. Oh, it's above me, isn't it? Okay. Just now saw the steps going up. My phone is like going off constantly now. I gotta figure out what's going on. Oh, this is side quest stuff. Here. Picking it up to do it on the way to the new main story stuff. down here and pick up the other one. Take a look at this cool new zone that we got. Looks very much like Avnir in terms of like design and aesthetics and things like that. Not that that's a bad thing. I like Avnir. Avnir is a really pretty zone. You also get to hear some of the music. Is that like a new. Oh, that's a form of troll. Okay. No, that's a form of Gobu. Very furry Gabu. Also part of the thing. Okay. Use the repellent resin on the wooden pillars and survey the designated uh, designated spot and slay a marble beetle for its shell. Easy enough. Go down low, don't I? Yep.
thing. And then one more. Then I gotta go down and do this in the multi season. Let's play this beetle for its shell. I don't even know if I need to be doing the side quest. I don't want to fall behind the level though. I really don't. Like getting to the point where you're level gated on the main story is kind of shitty. Oh, go away. Let's go down here and pick this up anyway. I'll get some experience for it, whatever. Music is starting to like, catch on after I listen to it more and more. Not bad. As much as I like smooth jazz and stuff like that, though, I don't think that I want to listen to it as frequently as I'm going to be if I use the if I use Tudo Yorao as my uh, hub, my hub city. Also, I feel like its market board is really far away compared to all the others. here. There's the thing I need to slay. Trolling me today. Space in my inventory soon, but we're all good. All good, man. All good, man. This one's upstairs. Yeah, main story is giving me like 1 million ESP per quest at this point. That's insane. Here we go. Alright. Now let's start back on the main story. A lot of fates out here. I'm gonna be farming those in the weeks to come though to level up jobs and get my uh, bi color vendors fully opened. What's going on, Wiklamot? Now we're gonna solve this problem. You can ask them back. I'll get to the bottom of this problem in no time. Give me strength. Let us all let all of us scale, uh, let all of us scour the fields and help our bold leader identify anything unusual. Got it, man.
Sanu Holly described, their reeds appear wilted and unhealthy. Investigate the fields of old. I don't know what's going on with these. The water contains no obvious contaminants and looks fresh and clear at a cursory glance. Uh, people are marking aether currents out here already, huh? Good to know. The soil in the paddies is as one would expect, rich in color and suitably moist, but not dry nor flaky. Not the soil. It's the last one. The lethargic frog. What's wrong with you? A small frog catches your eye. Strangely, that the vehicle doesn't even bother to hop when it eventually scurries away. Speaking of frogs. Hmm. I don't think an alpha now have to say about this. Oh, a water strider. Bit sluggish though, more of a water shampener. Lots to miss with the patties themselves as far as I can tell. You look. Seen enough, I'll call everyone together and we can share our discoveries. Well, what do we think? Any obvious problems? I agree, the wires look to be a I agree, the waters look to be of good quality, as the mud in which the reeds have been planted. Bugs and insects are unusually poorly. This is just the problem is affecting not only the reeds, but also the creatures which live among them. Something be invisible to the naked eye, but uh, could something invisible to the naked eye be polluting the water? We need an octopus to for such. I drink I could drink the water and massage my throat or the lat or Give my, my throat some relief. I don't have much to add about the fields. Something else occurs to me. So the slideshow is still on the stream. And you were describing how the kids use some likeness. Good help that we're even reminded of all the list's villages. We've suffered several tragedies here, I know. But there is another reason for the flagging spirits I believe. Oh, do tell. What is that? Go on. Go on. Festival! This is truly really, uh, this is traditionally an occasion for celebration of the noodles. We thought that the harm was struggling even more to the cover. The last time I visited, the village was in the middle of the festivities. We'll never see the Hanu Hanu more joyful and alive. An indispensable part of the culture. Its absence will only compound their woes. We're saying we help them uh, put on their festival. We don't reason to cheer in these sad times. Who knows? Maybe facing one problem can lead us to a solution for the other. Stranger things have happened. Right? I fail to see a relation between the festivals and the fields. Let's not be too hasty in dismissing the idea. Things which seem unrelated can never prove to be connected in surprising ways. Real and being a breath of ideas as we are, any proposal is worth entertaining. I suppose. Besides, this is Wuklamat's territory our journey. It's only right that we follow her lead. Thanks, everyone. By the way, does anyone know what a fe where the festival flirt is? It's like a belt woven from reeds, it looks like a bird. That big building to the north, 
Let's go and see it. Let's go and see it. Aaron's got something to say. As much as to think that I'm traveling over there. Tell me you're not having a fun time, man. hand this one in. We're about halfway to 92. I'm wondering when I'm going to get the first dungeon. Usually pacing wise it would be like right around. I'm probably getting pretty close. I want to see the new dungeon content and just smash some stuff. Yes, this is the flute that I would remember. Hmm. It does not appear somewhat damaged to you. Shall we take a closer look? Expect the vessel to okay. find something wrong with it, huh? Where is its eye? Missing an eye. Cyclops chocobo. Here you go. There's one. Oh dear! One of the bird's eyes seems to be missing a gem uh, <clears throat> a gemstone. Need to drink more water. My voice is not doing too hot right now. It's fucked up here. This? The snatch carrying pole? Oh, uh, that's definitely broken. How would they lift this great big vessel without all the carrying poles intact? What else do we got here? What else is wrong? Draggled, bedraggled feathers. These tail feathers have seen better days. I swear the colors were a lot brighter the last time I saw them. I think we cannot repeat this bird, this bird boat is in dire need of repairs. Now, how do we go about fixing it? What's going on here? We were admiring your festival. Wow, this is a shame it's in such a poor state. Due to the recent storm, I gather. <clears throat> I gather. Uh, I need water again. Yes, we have had to, we had to leave it exposed. While we ushered our people to safety. With the float in this condition, there can be no lifting of wings. No Ihihana. Ihihana? That's what the festival was called. I want to help you hold it. Ah, alright. Hopefully that helps. Have you not seen our village? Homes are ruined. We're struggling to make repairs, and you want us to hold a harvest festival? I know how it sounds, but giving into misery never helped improve, improve anyone's uh, situation. It's a celebration of life and growth may help uh, you strength to work through this tragedy. The rural festival leader is mine this year, and there's nothing I would like more than to lift everyone's spirits. We don't even have enough materials to repair the float. We need a bottle of Kichev for the missing guy, a Yui Poet for the poles. Feathers from the winds chosen to adorn the tail. Who of these I know? Abokisa is a type of precious stone using arcane equipment. Yuipo wood is essential for crafting ceremonial instruments. These chosen feathers, however. The winds chosen is the victor of a competition in which the contestants see who can blow a feather the furthest using magic and wind magics. And that's something of a problem right now. Hanu Hanu are gifted at employing such, uh, such airy sorceries. 
and spending a great deal of bono in doing so. We are soon exhausted by the effort, and having no reeds to eat will only make it harder. I think I understand. The arrival of these grow quickly and vigorously, so much that, so that they uh, stifle the development of nearby plants. They must be a potent source of energies for, uh, your source of the energies you naturally lack. They are indeed. Owing to the poor harvest this year, we've been left innervated. And if we cannot gather the correct materials as dictated to our custom, we cannot repair the festival flow. Oddly enough, we may just have stumbled upon a solution. The winds chosen would, by necessity, necessity have a gift for uh, manipulating magical energies. energies. Which means any feathers uh, taken from the victor should be high in aether uh, theory of conductivity. Plus construction also requires a stone used in arcane equipment, as well as timber favored for ceremonial tools. Demand for such specific materials must have an underlying reason. But might also function as an arcane device, in order to flow's actual secret weapon for smiting the Hani's foes. Great, continue off with the float might actually serve, might also function. <laughs> ah, as an arcane device. Ah, my throat. Precisely what I was thinking. The boat of reasons and past the an arcane focus of some kind. Focus? For what? Oh! Ikehana festival is a harvest festival, isn't it? That must mean the float must meet to encourage healthy crops. Both we repair the boat and hold the festival. With arcane powers, my fix of throng the reeds. No, no, until we try. But to the sound theory, celebration, prayer, ritual ceremonies has all been known to elicit miraculous effects. Wait, wait, wait! The float, a tool for magic? This is the first I'm hearing of it. At the beginning, it may well not have been. After a good harvest year, there would be no reason to change it. When the harvest was full, new adornments were likely added. And those who performed the labor may have imbued their work with audit homes for a brighter future. Three years of trial and error, the Hanu would have refined the festival float into a focus for harvest prayers. Incredible. I know you're practically fainting from hunger, but Rai Rai Ikihana really does sound like the solution to all your woes. I promise we'll do everything in our power to help you. I'm still not convinced about this focus business, but I accept your aid nonetheless. Or introduce you to the shipwright who's been maintaining the float these last few years. He's replaced both the eyes and the poles before, so he should know where and how to uh, procure what we need. And allow Aze and I to acquire the feathers. We will encourage the people of Okanu to gather and buy for the tile of one's chosen by sharing them with our own result uh sharing them our own reserves of mana. I'm good with you. I carry some alchemy to the priest that might afford the same effect. What are we doing? Ah, uh, we're going with the mod. Who of us will visit the ship right then? But without me, I worked hard to fix the float as best I can, and the responsibility is mine after all. I've not even introduced myself, have I? My name is Lino Hanu. Nice to meet you, Lino Hanu. And certainly, let's all get together. Thanks to Wook Lamont, we found ourselves a promising way forward. Oh god damn, I had the I had the fucking slideshow up through that entire thing, didn't I? I'm so sorry. Experience and knowledge are valuable assets. But there is something to be said for following one's instincts. Honey, we should take you to the ship, right? Ship's right name is Wook Wook He's a Zabra who only wished uh moved to uh come to Zamahuka a few years ago. And since Master of Customs to an almost frightening degree. Especially strict when it comes to manners, so make sure to offer him a proper honey honey greeting. You may want to offend him right before asking him for a favor. Proper honey honey greeting? Oh, that one! Don't worry, I remember I had a boss. We shouldn't have any problems. Let's head to Okbekte, the east of here. How far east are we talking? Uh, I've already been there. 
Alright, let's get to it then. Their festival flow is apparently the source of all their magical energies and power. Kind of an interesting thought. What the fuck is this music? So I'm going crazy with this one. Catchy though, I like it. Minani. This is Okpekne, the village of all. Those who drift into Kozama Uka from Kuriola and Elto are welcome to live here alongside the Hadu. As for Wukavu, you isn't worse than the House of Waters, hot, uh, Waters High, top of the large tree nearby. Follow me, Russian warrior, to find that the stairs can be challenging. Challenge accepted. A banger on the level of Lackey in here, civilizations. Voice acting? Hmm? Yes. What do you want with me? Right. The greeting. as diverse as ours. The preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. In fact, I get the sense we've met before. You! You will come out! Oh, what an unexpected honor for old Wukavu. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Please, take up your axe and claim my impudent head! I will not. Keep your head. I hate formalities anyway, so forget about it, all right? All right then, consider it forgotten. We're actually here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye. I'm told you work with Uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone? Er, uh, Abokisha? That I do. But while well, I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. 
can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Cindy threw promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. I told you not to worry about such things. All right then. I shan't worry a whit. What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But that is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola, or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. That should save us some time. All right then, let's get moving. Chosen one, one of your rivals is making progress. Damn rats. Ah, Iana, you say? <laughs> oh shit. God damn it. <laughs> the third rate promise is making herself useful after all. Raise the mouse and advance the cutscene. God damn it. I'm sorry. That's on me. Oh, there's an aether current near here, apparently. Pointing. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Aether. Hey, southwest of Okanu. You can return to the village first, then head there on foot. We'll grab this aether current. Hell yeah. Easy peasy, boys. Easy wind current. You better mount. What's interesting? Uh, Alright, Osmo. Let's go right, roll around on Osmo for a little bit. Big ball, the only way to travel in style. Take a break for like lunch and stuff later. I'm wondering if I can get this knocked out and like 
cheese a level off stream. Probably can. Yeah, Don't require me to do other stuff. But that's fine. Again, that's probably something I'm gonna do off stream. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do two books worth of wondrous tales. this place. Can't pronounce half of these areas that we're walking through right now. White boy white boy accent ain't gonna do me any, any favors here. Need some experience. Hell yeah. Oh, god damn it. I'm walking around without fucking food. God damn it. Alright, what's going on here? If Kiki Toya has promised, I'm the home to many deadly creatures. Enter inside if you feel confident, but I will conduct my own search out here. We spot raw Abakisha by its green hued glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. I shall help scour the inside of the cave then. Take the west half. <coughs> the west half and I'll take the east. Alright. In here. I need to kill these glow flies for hunt. Ward. Why is it working on the water? A chunk of stone glowing with this extinct shade of tree, and it seems like the exact kind of mineral Lenu Hami was looking for. Nice. I'm gonna kill some of these blue flies and get the, uh, get the current one down here. Big double down. Oh yeah. I'm experiencing some nuts. What I'm talking about. I picked over the ground near the entrance but found nothing. Did you have better luck inside the cave? Rob Keisha. Yes, this is Abakisha. Along with Pryle's contribution, we have more than enough for our needs. Since you brought shine very brightly, I thank you both. Alright, Would have been happy to know we were putting things right. Truth be told, a good friend of mine was meant to be the festival leader for this year's Ikihana. Then, when that big storm hit, he did not survive. 
It's going to be a carry on in his absence. That was why you read the week and read the weekly month's request. Your initial reluctance. Ah, my voice. Goddamn. Yes, it hurt to hear, but she was right. Though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize that the paths to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me. I will walk it for myself and for my friend. <clears throat> Thank you for sharing your story with us. Please rest assured that we've got we've taken your plate to heart. I'm certain. <coughs> ah. Certain our companions are procuring the early materials materials as we speak everything will come together and the hunter shall host a splendid uplifting festival but we shall that let's return and deliver the abacusha and the wook emus uh, waiting hands hell yeah <laughs> making progress Oh god damn, I have to go all the way up there. Alright, reporting. Hundred percent reporting up uh, reporting up there. I'm I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to take off the slideshow. I'm trying to remember. Try and be better about that, remember that more. Oh god, my voice. Oh, okay, we are on a new series. Uh, bomb, parasol... Weak the coyote. <laughs> Compressor. That's the Brute Justice looking dude. He's one of the... I forget which one is it. He's one of the parts of Brute Justice, isn't he? Promising on the mighty swings, we've collected some suitable laws of Uyu, though, worth your bookish. Yes, these are excellent samples, a, good quant a good, goodly quantity, too. This stage reflects your might, the lifting of wings and curtains the crop, but not exactly how, way. Eh? Well, the other influence, the fog was the plan, the results should be spectacular. Now, to get the work, crafting these pieces for the throat. I could use an assistant first in the arcane art to enhance the UAE pose on a dude. And I am alive and in hell. Everyone else should head to Okanu. We'll join you at the float until the work here is complete. Here, I might as well just pour it. Putting these Ethernet uh, tickets to use, I guess. Did I use an Ethernet ticket? I did. I have like a thousand of them though, so not a big deal. I didn't really need to. It was only like a 90 gil cost. Oh well. Alright, let's see what happens. Handling the Yui Bowl is in a trial in and of itself. At first, Mukabu criticized everything I did. <laughs> then he suddenly yelled, 
I've spoken nearly of the third promise and must punish myself. Completely this proceeded, the slam is headed the way you weep with me. I thought I'm not to worry about it again, and it was like snuffing out the candle. It's an odd one, that's for sure. At least we've seen what the pose and then, uh, we've seen the pose in the new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. The Kamat settles down uh, to rest before the festival gets underway. We should get them rest before the excitement begins. We're there by the float. Isn't that the third promise? Then the rumors are true. She's been trying to complete the feat of reap by reviving Ihihana. The festival is a prayer for healthy crops. Does she honestly believe that will be enough to save our harvest? The second promise, meanwhile, barely glanced about the fields before leaving Old Connor to altogether. Do ask too much of our young claimant. No, why would it be so quick to count Kawana out? A friend of mine overheard him muttering by the reeds something about what needs to be done. Is that so? Perhaps we'll get to see another of his innovations firsthand. It sounds like a Kawana. One look at the reeds, that was all he needed to think up a solution. You thought it was me. Our own solution is nearly ready. Indeed, as soon as the others get back, our long awaited festival can be again. Took some doing, but we managed to gather competitors who vie for the title of Wind's Chosen. The winner was only too happy to donate his feathers. Should have seen it! He called forth an incredible cast that sent his feathers sailing for alms! We had to turn ourselves, but it's more difficult than it looks. Poor Arabil twir twirled in the air for a moment before landing on his foot. Demogulina. Magic is not part of our training. As for us, we brought the wood and gemstone replacements crafted by Wolf Heaven. All that's left is to attach them. Has it been, has it been decided who are at the boat? Oh, I was the guest of honor last time I was here. I remember being surprised that we didn't even, they could even lift the thing with this hulking weight on top of it. The writer must be a personage of great esteem. Which is why an invitation is usually as needed to a dancer. This time, however, I have another in mind. Oh, who okay. who is it? A beloved Ichihana, the lifting of wings, is only being held because of you and your companion. Thus do I nominate you, Uklamat, our guest of honor. Me? <laughs> Don't be, won't make me seasick, will it? I don't think so. And wait, Yanko, I can hardly refuse a quest from one even more enthusiastic about the Feds festival than me. I would be delighted to ride your float. Thank you, Rukulai. I have rules for the rest of you as well. Be carrying festival float in a slow procession towards Kozana, Kozan Kazanuaki, where the sacred likenesses of I, Ichaihi is, is ensconced. What I'd like you to do is clear the path of dangerous wildlife so that the procession can move along and impede it. Consider it done. Expect me to sit sailing in blue. Okay, who has finished, clean, uh, finished with the float? Let me come along, come along and help with the clearing. As you know, as you know, I'm not much of a fight. I still behind and assist with every little bit of chaos. You aren't sure where you need to go. The path I spoke of begins south of the village and branches off the east. Then we lead you across the bridges to the Shrine of the Sun. And we shall see the clearing at end to end. All right. Now we're talking. Now you're. Now we're more my speed. Gotta go slay some uh, some of these beasties. Mount up and let's go. Oh wait, it's right here. Uh -uh. See what's going on down here?
Zuni Nohana said, Kazano uh, uh, Aki should be down this way. Then off to the east, one of the path branches. Did something about the bri uh, about bridges in the side of the sun? Anyway, let's speed up and get to work. Once you pull down the threads, you can't find them. Uh, we'll meet up in front of uh, Kichahi. Uh, Kichahi. Can't pronounce how to <laughs> shake it. I don't know how. Like, I get that the X is like a ch sound. The rest of it's kind of rough. I don't want to be on the level tracker. Something like that. I'm not afraid to use anymore. It's now, it's now pretty suit like on theme for this uh, expansion so far. I think the Halo Halo Island now. Yeah, probably killing herself some turtles. If the other scions are out here doing, or if you see them out here get, killing stuff too. Oh, it looks like no. Tap that bird. Damn. All right, let's keep going. Damn, this is a long, a long way uh, over here. Not that I mind. Right now that I get a, more of a look at it, this zone is fucking beautiful. Yeah, similar to Thavnir, but still different enough to be interesting. Yeah, most of the not killer no chew. Damn! Right. I haven't seen the twins though. Probably off being useless somewhere. Up there, one of them. What'd you kill? What'd you bag uh, off of now? Damn, you got, you got two frogs. It's little Nikatsu's wife. Double down damage though. <laughs> and uh, waiting spot. I see it. Okay. You're the step ahead of us. This must be the likeness of Ki Kichai. The Hanu Hanu deity of the harvest. When their sacred images or uh, <clears throat> images are woven with reeds, it reminds me of something I saw in Academia and an Eider. Half expecting a flying whale. Uh, it reminds me of something I saw in Academia and Eider. At Squaddle? One of the ancient's creations. One of the ancient's creations. It's possible a vestigial memory of that time endured. A conscious, uh, subconscious recollection from the inheritance soul, providing the basis for an entirely new religion. 
I have no idea what that means. As far as I know, Kichaihi was resor uh, uh, worshipped on another continent. This ancient faith was then brought to Torar by the first Hanu Hanu. Hanu migrated here from another continent. We may have the two do share a common fact, common ancestor. This is all very fascinating, but should we be getting back to Lino Hanu? They want to know the path is safe for the procession. Right, and I need to ride on the float. I'll run ahead and tell them we're done here. Meanwhile, in the League of Valens. Actually, Okanu. Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? Oh, shit. I have to no, never mind. There as many times as you'd like. The third promise tasked me with repairing this float, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. We wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to <laughs> kill you. We have a two-headed problem. Yes, please hurry. This is Snake. She's on her way back already? Stand back, Wukevu! I will protect the float! <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again! This is a priceless treasure! And as festival leader, I would die to protect it! Uh, very well. If that's what you want. Akucha! Understand the gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Your brilliant plan was to steal the float and take the credit. The so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. <laughs> Your scorn is sweet music. Come, weaklings. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Calm yourself, chosen one. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, we have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm. Then it would be foolish to expand effort, sweating nuts. <laughs> Lucky for you. Eh.
Now I'm the end singer, so I don't think this dude would be much of a problem. Ugh, two heads. I see my mook still clings to that loathsome hope. To us, third promise. You're not dying, are you? <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. So, are we having this festival or not? Yes! Yes, we are! back up. Alright. Go ahead and turn this in. Thank you for coming to our rescue. I tried to protect the boat, but against the two head, I may as well have not been in the, been there at all. Nonsense. You stood your guard and bought us the time we needed to make it back. You're incredibly late. Um, yeah, I'll take the, I'll take the boat in the gill. Close to 92. Wook uh, Avu versus the Spread Warp Festival uh, soon be held. Not exciting to loot over. You'll be pleased to know that my repairs are finished as well. Before we commence the festival, however, it will be a courtesy to inform the villagers that Ishihara will be held after all. Go forth, but do not forget your greetings. This stage is hope, hope, er, hope to. Oh, wait, this is Wook Avu. Go forth, but do not forget your greetings. At this stage, I should hope the reminder is necessary. Unnecessary. Oh, Kali. See? I remember. In the chat, uh, same mode, use your keyboard and the software. Oh, Kali. You said you can help you bit much. Talk to each of them, I guess. Well, I gotta target him and make sure I say the oh, Hokali thing. Oh, Hokali! Oh, Hokali! What? The float is fixed? My fallen friends will be glad to know that Ikihana will soon be underway. They wouldn't have wanted us to honor them with celebration. Or they would have wanted us to honor them with celebration, not their loss, uh, not let their loss deter us from it. I must go and enjoy the festival for those who no longer came. Oh, Festival's about to begin. What do you expect me to say? Besides, of course I'll be there. Cleaning up the storm's aftermath may have been hard on us all, but lifting of wings is tradition, and a joyous one at that. I won't sit here brooding my days away. Give me a moment to get ready. Any side bus? Please. I got the mute button, not the mute button in time. If not, then I apologize. I hate sneezing into the microphone on stream. It's annoying. Like my big pet peeve. Ooh, without me, hot up. Life feels so empty. That's right, I keep forgetting to do this. Oh, 
book aí. Thank you for letting me know. I would very much like to attend the festival. The repair should be finished as soon as possible. What to do? What to do? Get out of here. And this one in. Oh, I like this zone. This zone has like a very cool, like, food in the jungle vibe going to it. It's very nice. Looks great with the new lighting and shadows and everything too with the uh the updated engine. This overhaul has been very a, a pretty good treat. The hunter will place to hear their festival is going ahead, I imagine. And as well, once your friends return, the lifting of winds wings can be again at last. Active. Looks like a high quality scene. Probably voice acted. So few have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. Just so! Ukevu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Have faith, Third Promise, and climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. Right. Off we go! Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest, but this is not its only meaning. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers, a commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Listen well, friends! The personage we bear today is Wook Lamat! The savior of our beloved festival! Let your shoulders burn or your feathers fall out! But do not even think of dropping her! Ready and... <sighs> Get used to this. Will empty bellies stop you from joining in the fun? Come and help us carry the float. Well, well, well. To see the day that Dawn's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, Gulong Jaja. Right. We've enough bearers now. Onwards to Kozanuaki! Watch well, for you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana! The float 
draws upon our life force, concentrating and amplifying the energy. Kishaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. It worked. Like a literal charm. The float really was helping the reeds. That was amazing. To think that such a thing was even possible. Sounds like it looks like everything's been solved then, so that should be another keystone in the pocket, yeah? Can I have left the foot behind like that? I was so excited to see the leads. Nothing to worry yourself over. My brethren have been swept up by the festival uh by festival fever. Last I saw they were taking turns at carrying poles on the way back to the village. Please feel free to look over the fields and enjoy the sight of what you've accomplished. Ah shit, I had the fucking God damn it, I gotta be weird about that. I had the fucking slide show up through that entire thing. That's annoying, I'm sorry. Some of them still look a bit sickly. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits. If the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year though. The entire field should eventually recover. Where does that leave us with the feet, then? You've got nothing to fear on that account. Our situation could never have resolved itself. The revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognize the nature of the float and found a near-perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Ah, we have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. got the curative world hunger in his pocket. Oh, isn't that wonderful? What? 
You just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. I assumed that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Archon allies? You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Well, you always were the clever one, brother. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamart. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did. It was so much fun. Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little. About the reeds, about Ichihana, With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. <laughs> I like you even more now than I did before. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. In the same slot. That's the where the other stone went. What? Oh, each of the no, each of the pieces the has a different step. slot. Gotcha. She has like seven tablets. Not even a moment of celebration. That's Kona for you. I thought they were all gonna be like on the same tablet. The third Never promise. Mind. You must join us for Ikikana next season. As dawn servant, of course. Right. It's back to Tulihola for now. Yeah, we did everything. Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. How's the two-headed guy gonna get his keystone? <laughs> These are interesting times indeed. Concoction was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win we must. Test vial, huh? Uh why am I thinking that's going to be uh, an issue later? Back. My journey has, already, has just started and I already have met so many wonderful people. Yeah. Yeah, for one. 
He's a bit eccentric, but everyone could stand to be as res uh, respectful of other coaches as he is. And Nina Hanu, it warms my heart to see him honored in his departed friend, Ruihihana, to help others do the same. I can't help but feel excited thinking Gorotan met Mito with the course of the contest. Come on, let's head back to Zabalia of Te. Yeah. Oh, shit. back for the Aether current, Aether current stuff later, I guess. I do. I do want to get it done, though. spending some more time in the zone. The zones are really well designed. I'm enjoying it so far, so I think I'll just keep on going. Almost level 92. Having my thumb I didn't even notice that he aggroed me. Maybe we're spending some time doing some uh, front line and stuff later and getting those books taken care of. Wait, what the fuck? Where am I going? Speak with book. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. Go ahead and teleport back. Alright, let's go find the mine and see what's up. 